Highest ranked team the Hokies have ever beaten. So number two didn't survive. What about number three waiting in the wings? Hey, hey SC's Rose Bowl chances also hinged on how they played against Washington State. Matt Kegel finding Scott Lundy. Trojans have grabbed a 3 0 lead. And then Kegel, of course, played in the second quarter to Mark Darling. Wazoo up 7 3, but here comes Herschel Dennis. The question was how would USC responded? Well, they just gave the ball to Herschel Dennis. Look at the beautiful moves on the outside, in for the end zone, touchdown. USC up 10 7 at that point. And then. The Wild Bunch, too, came up with some quarterback pressure. And just penetration, getting to the quarterback, the entire defensive front. No time for Matt Kegel here. Pressured the entire day. Tremendous job by the defensive front of USC. And there's Nasal coming off tackle, getting a sack of Kegel, and he was really shaken up. They came after him time and time again, and then they couldn't even get the snap race. Well, just miscues. Washington State has now gone eight straight games with at least a dozen penalties, and they had a couple of snaps over the punter's head. That only turned into five points, though. Still 15 to 10. When Matt Liner finds Steve Smith, what class is Steve Smith? Well, he's a freshman, Race. They are young, they are loaded, and they are dangerous. Here's some more trickery with Mike Williams. Mike Williams is a youngster, too. He's a lefty. He's going to flip it out there to Greg Gunther for a good game. Flag, by the way, the penalty was naturally on Washington State. The penalty's always on Washington State. Matt Liner connects with Mike Williams for the touchdown. And Pete Carroll's squad starting to pull away. Liner now dumping it out on a little pass. And Carroll's team pulled away in this game. They converted four turnovers into 24 points. Wazoo now 1-12 against top three opponents all time. 43-16 to 16 is the final in the game. Boy, I tell you what, you compare the Heisman Trophy winner from last year, Carson Palmer, he was so important to that USC resurrection, but his numbers just aren't that much better than Matt Light at this point. He has been a brilliant fill-in, and while the Trojans, Trojans should be number two in the polls. They ought to have the inside track now to go on to the Nokia Sugar Bowl, but there's always that question. What if they hadn't blown the Cal game? You know, we just stunk that day, you know? We just stunk. We played lousy football. We were, it didn't matter where you looked. We just were lousy, and, and I did a terrible job of getting us ready to go, and the guys played lousy, and we coached lousy, and it stunk.